Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. Hello everyone. Hello guys. How are you guys today? Guess what? Guess what time it is. It's story time with Miss Doris. Yes, I'm so excited. Story time. Guess what? It's story time. And I'm excited to read you a story on today. Today is Thursday. Hello and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you guys a story on today. This is such an awesome day. Well, guess what? Let's go ahead on and get started. I would like to go ahead on and greet everyone. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And to some, good night. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Shekana. Hello, Shekana. How are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome day today. How was your day at school? I hope you had an awesome day at school today. Well, let's just give a shout out. Hello, Shekana, Shaquavia. Hello, Itty. Hello, Miss Hopi. Hi, Miss Hopi. Hello, Miss Carla Bennett. Hello, guys. Hello, all to women, helping women entrepreneurs. Hello, hello, Tinker Bell. Hello, Tinker Bell. All five locations. Hello, guys. I missed you guys. Guess what? I have an awesome book to read to you guys on today. But before we get started, <clears throat> we have to work on our colors. We have to work on our colors. Well, let's see how many of you guys remember our color. Do you remember one of the colors that we worked on this week? Do you remember one of this week's colors? Well, I'll give you guys a couple of seconds so you can go ahead on and think. Shekana, do you remember one of our colors that we worked on this week? Or, well, we did some of the parables in the Bible we did. So what are some of the colors, um, one of the colors that we worked on this week? Okay, Matthew and Mason, come on and help them out, Miss Hopi. Come on, you guys got to put in your thinking caps. Purple! Purple was one of the colors. Purple. Purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. Purple. The color purple. Guess what? You were right. We did work on the color purple. One of the colors is the color purple. And this is the purple rectangular purple rectangular awesome job and this is a purple pin with the color purple this is the color purple purple pin purple rectangle awesome job Shakana and Shaquavia you guys were awesome well can you think of another color hmm, let's see Royce where are you Royce I missed you Royce I know you're going to be tuning in soon. Hey, what about the color yellow? <clears throat> what about the color yellow? What about the color yellow? We did do the color yellow as well. We did do the color yellow. And this is a yellow rectangle. Guess what? I have a yellow marker. This is the color yellow. This is the color yellow. And it is a rectangular rectangle the color yellow this is the color yellow this is the color yellow and this is the yellow rectangle the color yellow and a yellow rectangle awesome job guys okay well what was one of our other colors do you remember one of our other colors for this week before we get to today's color well, one of the other colors were the color red. One of the other colors were the color red. This is the color red, and it is in the form, the shape of a triangle. This is the color red. This is a red pen. 
I love red. Red are beautiful colors. And this is the color red. And this is the shape of a triangle. Well, guess what? You guys are awesome. So we did the color red this week. We also did the color purple. Miss Doris is wearing purple lipstick today. The color purple pen and the purple rectangle. The color purple. This is such a beautiful color. The color purple. And what was the other color? It shines so, so, so bright. The other color is the color yellow. This shape is in the form of a rectangle. The color yellow, color yellow. Uh, you guys did such an awesome job. You guys did awesome. Give yourselves a hand. You did an awesome job with your colors. Okay, now, don't forget those colors. Well, <clears throat> Let's see what is today's color going to be. Can you guys I spy? Hmm. Can you I spy what today's color going to be? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to help you guys out. Well, today's color is going to be I I spy Miss Storytime. Yes! I didn't even say the color and you got it guess what I I spy Miss Doris is wearing the color on today so you guys guess right guess what color today's color is blue yes you guys did awesome so guess what Miss Doris is wearing blue earrings today this is the color blue blue necklace a blue head bow, also wearing a blue shirt with different colors on it. And our flash card for today is going to be the color blue. Yes, Shakana, you were awesome. Great job, Shakana. Hello, Harmony. Hello, Tanelia. How are you on today? This is the color blue. This is in the shape of a square. A square has four corners. One, two, three, and four. This is in the shape of a square. And this is the color blue. And guess what? Miss Doris has a blue pen. Blue pen. Hello, Sir Antonio. Hello, Sir Rock. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you guys? Thanks for tuning in with story time with Miss Doris. So this is the color blue. Today's color is the color blue. Today's color is the color blue. And today's book we're going to be reading before we do that story time song. You guys going to be bouncing everywhere. We got to get our workout in for a couple of seconds. Dancing and excitement. Well, today's story we're going to be reading is called The Jungle Book. This is our story for today. The Jungle Book. Oh man, this is going to be such an awesome, awesome story. The Jungle Book. So guys, go ahead on and have a seat. Let's check out this story time. I love that story time song. Story time. Story time with Miss. I can't hear you guys singing. I know you love the song. You guys got to sing really loud. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Story time. Story time with Miss Star. I love this song. I love this song, guys. It's story time. Story time with Miss Doris. It's story time. Tell you all just what to do. Woo! -hoo. I love that song. 
well, moms and dads and nanas and papas, you guys go ahead on and have a seat while Miss Doris read you a story on today. The Jungle Book. Let's read our story. Enjoy your lunch, guys. I know you guys are having something really, really, really delicious. Let's get started with our story. Deep in the jungle, Bahara the partner, the panther, was out hunting. He discovered a baby tucked inside of a shipwrecked boat. Why, it's a man cub, he thought. This little chap needs food and a mother's care. Perhaps Mother Wolf will look after him. Mother Wolf agreed to help. They named the man cub Mowgli, and he grew up safe and happy in the jungle. <clears throat> this is going to be a long, long story. This is going to be so awesome. It's okay, baby Maui. You're going to meet your family. Maui loved being a wolf cub, but everything changed when Maui was 10 years old. Shere Khan, the man-eating tiger, heard about the man cub and came searching for him. The wolves held an urgent meeting to discuss Maui's future. They agreed that Bahara should take care of the boy, man village, where he would be safe. Story time. Yes, it's story time, guys. I'm so excited. Look at that. It's going to be okay, Maui. You'll see. Just watch. The next morning, Bahari and Maui set off on their long, long journey. Maui was angry and upset. He didn't understand why he had to leave the jungle. It was his home. When darkness fell, Bahari and Maui settled down to sleep in a tree. Nearby, Kaya the snake was hiding in some leaves. Whoa! Kaya slithered toward the man cub. Uh-oh, there's Kaya the snake. Slithering over there towards him, guys. Look at that. That looks really, really, really scary. It's okay, man pup. You're going to be okay. You'll see. I promise. Don't worry. They're going to come to your rescue. Kaya's shiny yellow eyes seem to have a magic power on Maui. The boy sank into a deep trance. Kaui slowly went himself around Mowgli's, ready, oh my goodness, ready to swallow him up. Suddenly, Bahara woke up and sprang at Kaya. He gave the snake a terrible blow and sent him slithering away into the jungle. At dawn, Mowgli ran off. Bahara caught up with him and wanted to continue toward the man village. But Mowgli wouldn't go. He grabbed hold of a tree and held on really, really, really tightly. This man, this made Bahara very cross, and he ran off, leaving the man cub alone. There's the snake trying to get to him. Look at that snake wrapped himself around Maui. And there's Maui. Look at Maui, guys, holding on to the tree. Oh, my goodness. Let his pants go. He doesn't want to. Oh, my goodness. Paul oh, Maui. Let Maui's shorts go. That was funny. Oh, my goodness. Why do you do that to him? But not for long. Maui met a friendly, friendly bear named Balo. Well, now, what we have here, Balo asked. Mally introduced himself. He told Balo how he wanted to stay in the jungle. 
Well, little britches, said Balo, I'm going to show you. Balo enjoyed teaching him new, teaching his new friends about the bare necessities of life. Soon Mally could fight like a bear, crawl like a bear, and even, oh, stretch like a bear. There he goes. Balo is giving him the ropes about being a bear in the jungle. And here he goes, getting those bananas. I love bananas. Do you guys like bananas? And today, I bet you do. Late that afternoon, Mally and Belo waded into the river to keep cool. As they floated along, Mally sat on Belo's tummy and a big bear fell asleep. Monkeys were watching from the trees. They swung down and grabbed the man cub. Hey, let me go! Let me go! Maui shouted. Balo woke up with a jump, but it was too late. The monkeys were already carrying Maui off to the ruined temple where they live. Hello and welcome to Storytime with Miss Doris. Today's book we're reading is called The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. And today's color was the color blue. At the ruined temple, Louis the King of Apes offered to help Maui stay in the jungle. In return, he wanted the secret of the man's red fire. Meanwhile, Behera had heard Maui's cry. He found Belo, and who explained what happened. The two planned to rescue Belo, Maui. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. King Louis declared that they should have a great, great feast and dance in honor of Maui. Maui's feet began to tap to the music and he joined in with the fun. Just as Belo and Bahara had reached the temple. There they go, having fun and dancing. He's having a really, 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 really awesome, awesome, good, good, good time. I love to dance. Dancing to me is a good workout. It's exercising. Who is this lady ape, Balo? King Louis rushed over to ask the lady ape to dance. Would you like to dance with me? You guys didn't know I had an accent, did you? Well, but as Balo danced, his disguise began to fall off. Oh, Balo, you got to do a better disguise than that. The monkeys realized that they had been tricked. And the drukas began. Behera rushed over to help and Balo knock down part of the temple. They grabbed Mali and ran to safety in the jungle. There go Belo trying to dance in disguise. He thought he had him a girlfriend. But guess what? His disguise started falling off. So he had to run away. Aww. It's okay, Belo. You'll get your friend. The man cub must go back to the man village. Behera insisted the jungle was not the place for him, but the next morning, Mali ran off again. Behera insisted that they would have to find Mali before Shere Khan did, not knowing that Shere Khan was close by listening. Shere Khan caught Mali's scent. He found him and leaped at him and then jolted to stop him. Balo had caught him by the tail. Shere Khan roared. He roared with rage and flipped Balu over his head. The bear hit the ground with a great thud. There he goes, running off. He's trying to save his friend. 
Look at that. It's okay. Be careful. Your friends are going to rescue you. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Suddenly lighting a struck nearby tree and it burst into flames. Shere Khan was terrified of fire. Mali picked up a burning branch and tied it to the tiger's tail. Shere Khan screamed and fled into the jungle, never to be seen again. Mali ran over to Balo, who was lying very still. Balo, Balo, get up, Balo. Get up, Balo, Mali cried. Balo, Balo, are you okay? Get up, Balo. Mali cried and cried and cried. <clears throat> oh, no, Balo. Was Balo dead? Oh, my goodness. No, Balo. Balo, Balo. Get up, Balo. I missed you. No. Balo sat up and rubbed his eyes. Oh, my goodness. No, Balo. Sat up and rubbed his eyes. Mally laughed and threw his arms around the bear's neck. Oh, I'm so excited because guess what? He thought his best friend had died. But guess what? There he goes, laughing with laughter. Oh my God, that was such a scare there, Balo. Why Balo do that to us? Balo really scared me. A short time later, when the three friends had reached the man village, they heard singing. A young girl was fetching water at the river, and she turned and smiled, and Mally shyly smiled back. Then he picked up the girl's water jug and followed her. Just before Mally entered the village, he turned to smile at his old friend. Mally is where he belongs, said Bahara. Come on, said Balo, let's go back to where we belong. And as the sun set, the two friends headed back toward the jungle, singing and dancing happily. Wow, there he goes. He met a little princess at the water river, and he carried her water for him. Then Balo comes to get him so he can go home. Wow, how beautiful. What an awesome story. This was such an awesome story on today. The in the jungle jungle book. This was an awesome story. Guys, thank you so so much for tuning in with story time with Miss Doris. I enjoyed reading to you on today. And remember, <clears throat> if you're not feeling well on today, always, always let mom and dad know, guys, that you guys are not feeling well. And when you're coming from out, from playing with your toys or with your friends, make sure, make sure that you are washing, sanitizing, are cleaning your hands at all times. Thank you guys so much for all the hearts. I love all of you guys globally, all over the world. And guess what? If you don't have wipes or to wipe your hands, it's okay. Because guess what? You can use say, hand sanitizer. Miss Doris has her own hand sanitizer, guys. If you need your hand sanitizers, order your hand sanitizer from Miss Storytime. And guess what? These are refillable bottles. The bottles are refillable so you can refill them. And don't forget, when you're out in public with mom and dad, 
and they give you your mask to wear, make sure when you're out in public, you're wearing your mask. I know you guys have beautiful masks, but guys, guess what? Miss Storytime has Storytime masks. You can get your Storytime masks from Miss Doris. Don't forget to order your mask. Make sure you are wearing your mask at all times. See, I told you Miss Storytime has a story time mask. I told you guys. See that? I have that story time mask on. This is the black one. We have all, all colors. Make sure you're wearing your mask. See? Story time. Thank you so much. Make sure you're wearing your mask at all times when you're out in public. We don't want you guys getting sick. And remember, if you're not smiling on today, I hope once you see Miss Storytime smile, that you're smiling. I have a smile just for you. You have an awesome, blessed day. I love you guys globally, all over the world. Have an awesome day. And God bless a smile just for you.